On a small farm, a pulsating, glowing craft was captured on video by an anonymous source. Could this be the first videotaped account of an alien spacecraft landing on terrestrial soil? Bob Exler, a former NASA mission specialist, received the tape in the mail along with strange documents and a fingerprint from a source known only as the Guardian. In my judgment, the uh, so-called Guardian case is one of the most sophisticated and well-documented UFO cases in history. We have a videotape with some physical evidence from that. There was enough information in the package to suggest a landing site where the event occurred. We found witnesses, eyewitnesses to the event. This was clearly a disc-shaped object with some rather unique-looking appendages. We don't know what that really represents, but it clearly is the overall shape, and you can see that because the flares in the background are illuminating smoke, which are backlighting this object. Navy optical physicist Dr. Bruce McAbee determined that the craft hovering above the field appears to be 25 feet in diameter. He doesn't think it's the work of a Hollywood special effects team. This was a real event witnessed by some people other than Guardian, which makes this an important case. It's my opinion, it's not a hoax. Dennis DeHate of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police disagreed. He believes the craft is real, but it's nothing unusual. Most of the people I spoke with indicated that helicopters had been flying in the area for some time, and that the sighting was not that of a UFO. In fact, as far as they were concerned, it was a helicopter. DeHate analyzed the footage as part of a Canadian investigation. After reviewing all the information, I'm convinced, and I'll always be convinced, that this is a helicopter. My response to that is it's a ridiculous explanation. But what appears in the video does not look at all like...